I think a photograph's one of the most authentic ways of communicating a message with an audience. My name is Stanley Leary and I'm a visual consultant for the corporate communications team at Chick-fil-A. Stanley Leary is a visual storyteller based in Atlanta, Georgia. Mr. Leary uses photojournalism and photography to help organizations and companies communicate a desired message. Photojournalism to me is about um, getting to know somebody's story but also being able to capture it and I think that text and words alone don't really pick up on the nuances that visual communication does. Mr. Leary worked for his university's yearbook and newspaper while studying social work and he worked as a staff photographer for the Hickory Daily Record, a newspaper in Hickory, North Carolina, following graduation. Mr. Leary then worked as a staff photographer for the Commission Magazine in Richmond, Virginia. Later, Mr. Leary returned to academia and received a master's in communication. My job uh, through the years has become more diverse than it did when I first started. And when I first started, I would show up at a newspaper job and have like four or five assignments and go out during the day and shoot things from, bath, you know, events like games to photographing politicians covering city council and that. Whereas today, uh, my role is very diverse in that I still may get a phone call to go do those same kind of assignments for a client, but also I'm doing multimedia with clients where I'm telling complete stories or I may cover events um, that are more from the client perspective I'm there not just to get a real quick photo and disappear but I'm there to cover the entire annual meeting um, and get every speaker and the audience's participation. Mr. Leary worked for the Georgia Institute of Technology for 10 years as a corporate photographer producing recruiting and science and technology materials. He then shifted into freelance photography and photojournalism and has been working as a freelance photographer and photojournalist since 2001. He has worked for a variety of clients throughout his career in photojournalism and photography. Mr. Leary's diverse clients include Coca-Cola, Delta, and Chick-fil-A. He describes his work as a mix of corporate and editorial. In general, my assignments um, today just involve a lot more shooting than they did when I was just shooting for news only. Mr. Leary credits his educational background in social work and communications in helping draw out his subjects and making them feel comfortable and relaxed. He has the unique ability to tell stories in a precise, cohesive way. The purpose of a good journalist is not just to repeat what they hear, but to distill the facts and get it in a sequence so that the story is told in a way that keeps the audience engaged, but also effectively tells what um, the story is all about that you just covered. I'm asked to go in and help tell stories of executives and people in the different departments. The reason I'm there is I can tell the story more effectively than they can. That's why I'm hired. So I have to know what they're talking about in such a way and summarize it better than they can do even though they're the expert in the subject and I'm not. So it requires me to ask a lot of questions, be like a Sherlock Holmes and really get an, an understanding of the story but not to just take my understanding and go with it. Uh, throughout my process of doing the story, I'm asking the subject, so is this what you're saying? Uh, clarifying the message so that I'm not creating my own story, but more or less distilling their story down to something that's a little bit more understandable for the average person. I shadowed Mr. Leary on assignment for Chick-fil-A and saw firsthand how he tells stories. Mr. Leary, with the help of his assistant, David White, recorded video clips of interviews with Chick-fil-A leaders. These interviews will be edited together to create a video for Chick-fil-A operators nationwide. I think anybody going into communications, like photojournalism or writing, if you love just the camera or the taking picture part, that's not enough to do this. You really have to love the subject of which you're covering. And it's more important that you have a passion for your community or have a passion for some topic that you're going to be covering than about photography because photography is not sustainable and it's not that 
that's more of a camera club group. People who do this as a profession are those who want to make change in our communities and make them better. And if that's not your passion, I probably wouldn't do this as a career. If you want to be a change agent for your community by informing them with stories, this is a great career path to take. The one thing I think that makes this worthwhile is not the ability to cover a story, but whether or not the story results in action for the community. Because I don't think telling stories just to entertain like Hollywood does, that they see a good movie, you cried and you laughed and you walked out. I think photojournalism and corporate photography and anything that you're doing in what I call the communication arts form is not just entertainment. We're wanting to give information that helps the audience take action in some way so that they go out and vote and make a difference or they elect different city officials so that certain things happen in their neighborhoods to change. So for me, photojournalism is at the core of the First Amendment of freedom of press, but that press is there for our communities to actually become stronger because journalism helped make them informed. To me, the best part of photojournalism is knowing that I'm helping make our world a better place to live.